Well, we are, of course, looking for a new owner's rep to join the board at the GBGB. And I'm delighted to say I'm joined by one of the contenders now. Jane Conway is the only female representative going for this role. Good luck to mm -hmm. you, Jane. Very brave decision, as I just said to you. Well, yes. Yeah. Brave or foolish. Why have you gone for it? What are you hoping to achieve? Well, for a long time, I've listened to owners complaining and with some justification that they feel left out, they feel marginalised and they feel ignored. Um, and I think uh, I think it's time for that to change um, one way or another. So what are you planning to do to try and get owners what to be heard more? Right. What I want to do is set up a series of representatives throughout the country. Either, In fact, at each track, ideally, um, and then regionally to make sure that the, the wishes and the, uh, the discontent or content from each track is then relayed to the GBGB um, because there, there needs to be some promoter input on this. The promoters need to be behind this as well um, and support it. So the idea and being the that benefits. people would air their views, they would filter through to you and then how confident are you that you could make your voice heard on the board? I can shout. Um, I can be. I can be um, assertive, should we say? I can be assertive um, and be polite. There's there's no point in going into this with a, a, an air of belligerence or confrontation or being argumentative. It will achieve nothing. Um, there needs to be some sort of reconciliation and then conciliation. Do you think it's doable? Obviously, Paul Carpenter had his struggles, which were well documented. Do you think it's doable to get the owner's voice heard? Yes, I think it is doable. But it's not just the owners that are that are part of this. It's the it's the mechanism behind it all. The GBGB, the promoters, the whole industry needs to be behind this. And the whole industry needs to understand that the owners are the backbone of this industry. You've been in the sport a long time. What do you think are the main issues facing owners at the moment? Well, I, call me call me naive, but I yearn for the days of the owner trainer associations at the tracks where you had owner and trainer nights and everybody could win a little trophy, and there were social events. I'd love to see that again. I appreciate that some of the tracks it might be a little bit more difficult to uh, sort that out, but I think it's eminently doable, and I think that gives uh, gives owners a sense of agency in each track and a sense of ownership over the industry. This is your chance to speak to the people that will be voting, if you like. Any other reasons for people to vote for you? Since the day um, I got my first dog, I have rolled my sleeves up and worked. Um, I decided from the day I uh, bought my first dog that I would get involved with the RGT and I would do my bit, for, not just for my dog uh, and then subsequent dogs, that I would do my bit for uh, the dogs that were owned by the people who can't do the right thing by their dogs, and they, they are there, but the ever dwindling number now of owners who won't, and that is becoming a very small number indeed now. Um, and that's what I've done, that's what I'm doing now, and that's what I will continue to do. So I'm, I'm thoroughly dedicated to the industry and welfare, human and dog. Jane, I wish you all the best with it. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much, Julie. Thank you.